Hello and welcome to the motor control world, especially in motor control for robotics application. My name is Stanislav Divin and I'm working for ST Microelectronics as an application engineer. In this session we will go through the new ST solution for robotics, which is an evaluation kit named EvalKit Robot 1. So, what I'm going to talk about? We will address four key topics. First, we'll go through a quick overview of system and package solution for motor control, namely our ST Spin 32F0 family, highlighting what makes this option the best one for robotics application. Then we'll move to EvalKit Robot 1 itself, a demo board that provides a practical implementation of servo control, focusing on both hardware and firmware. In the third section, we'll review together the complete BOM needed to implement this solution and how to scale it according to your specific motor. And last but not least, a quick review of the ecosystem ST Spin32 family, leverage on hardware, software and tools. ST Spin32 is a family of system in package solution that embeds in the same package two different silicon dies. STM32 microcontroller and an analog IC with a triple hull bridge key driver needed to run a BLDC motor. The key advantages of this combination are following. The possibility to easily program the driver within whichever control algorithm you want using a minimum amount of space on your PCB. Then just by changing the MOSFETs or eventually IGBTs, you can reuse the solution for different inverter power ranges. Having a STM32 microcontroller inside, uh, you can run the standard motor control libraries of STM32 that are supported by the complete toolchain, to be more specific, leveraging on ST Motor Control Software Development Kit. And here you see why we highlight compactness and integration. In ST Spin 32F0, we have the integration of an STM 32F0 microcontroller with a three phase gate driver available in different voltages option from low voltage 45 volts up to 600 volts. And the final result is housed in a QFN 7x7mm package or in TQFP 10x10mm package for 600 volts. A slightly larger package to comply with creepage requirements quite typical for high voltage applications. Just by connecting external transistors, you get a complete inverter ready to drive. Let's have a deeper look at the best way we can use ST Spin 32F0 in motor control applications. The compactness of the solution for sure helps, especially when we have to drive very compact motors and when the electronics has to be integrated into the motor housing. A typical example is Cobot, where the size of the robotic arm is uh, very similar to the one of the human arm. The second key characteristic is the precision of the movement control, both in terms of speed and position. Typical solution is servo control, and this is what we decided to go for. Then the communication. In robotic application, we do have a, a considerable amount of motors within the same system, and they have to be able to receive and share the info and data. There is a bunch of communication protocols that can be used. The one we decided to implement is Modbus protocol, that today can be seen as an industry standard. EvalKit Robot 1 is the evaluation kit that embeds all those characteristics. It is a brushless servo control kit that ST developed in partnership with Maxon Motor, and it comes as a real kit with both the electronics and the motor in the box. The motor inside has the power of 100 watts, and it's named Maxon ECI40, and it comes with 1024 pulses incremental encoder. So let's check what is inside the kit and how to get the best usage of it. On top of the motor, we have in the kit ST's servo control board based on ST Spin 32F0A plus dual power MOSFETs STL7D and 6LF3. 
Field-oriented control firmware is already flashed inside, implementing closed-loop high-precision control. The servo control board is designed and intended to be used only with the Maxon motor provided in the kit. It is a plug-and-play standalone solution aimed to help users easily approach the world of precise positioning and high-end motion. This servo control board can be controlled via Modbus communication protocol through RS-485 connection. You just need one cable to connect the Eval Kit Robot 1 with PC and the Modbus Master application installed. So why is this Eval Kit useful for robotic application? Uh, it is a practical example of how to develop the servo control exploiting at the very end both the firmware and hardware resources. Let's start from firmware. Uh, if you ask uh, what you need to implement FOC position control, probably the very first answer you'll get is a powerful micro, or at least uh, M4 core. For sure you can do it with a M4 core. However, here you have an example of what is it possible to do with M0 core. The control loop is able to withstand the maximum motor speed, uh, which is 4k RPM, without any issues. From the hardware point of view, just consider the compactness of the solution. It's only 4 times 4 centimeters to run a 100 watt motor. Basically, you may think just to reuse the hardware design for your specific motor. You can very easily flash down different code and you still have a very compact inverter to pair with your own motor. PCB compactness and uh, dual MOSFET package brings in, of course, some kind of power dissipation limit, and we tested the solution to prove its validity. Here you can see the results. It can run over 3 amps at ambient temperature, uh, with the MOSFET temperature just below 100 degrees. It is pretty good if you realize that a complete inverter is only 4 times 4 cm big. The solution is also fully, fully protected and it is designed to sustain a 6 amp limit of overcurrent protection. Uh, results you see here are depending on the MOSFETs, uh, their packages and the PCB construction. We'll see later how to scale this concept in your application leveraging on the most up-to-date ST low voltage MOSFET family. And here, just for your reference, the documentation material list uh, you will find on st.com slash evalkitrobot1. You will find there data brief, user manual, Kerber files and uh, a recap of needed hardware. Let's have a slightly deeper look on what is actually on the board and which level of flexibility these components can provide. Namely, it is STSPIN32F0A and the MOSFETs. So first, control IC. STSPIN32F0A is the specific part number from STSPIN32F0 family selected for this eval kit. The driving factor for this choice is the number of operation amplifiers included in A version, which is free operation amplifiers. We decided to implement a free shunt version of the field-oriented control, mainly because of the current reading precision and lower computation power needed, which is quite convenient choice for M0 core. That brings in the need of free operation amplifiers for signal conditioning, and STSPIN 32F0A as a final choice. Then the MOSFETs. If you need to scale up or down the power of the board, you may refer to F7 low voltage MOSFET product family. This technology is the perfect fit for any motor control project thanks to its great EMI EMC behavior. It is obtained by optimization of MOSFETs capacitances. In this last section, we will go through a quick review of STSPIN 32F0 family ecosystem. It includes different hardware options dedicated to STSPIN 32 family. Uh, there are also a reference design or customization to other specific application needs. 
and of course the relevant firmware solution based on STM32 toolchain. ST provides for STSPIN32F0 products 5 evaluation kits, all listed on ST.com, and they include both hardware and firmware to get the motor started. We have basically two kinds of evaluation boards. ST Eval Spin, top three lines in the table, are evaluation boards meant to test the controller inverter stage and to provide a convenient hardware to fine tune the libraries to the specific motor. They have on board all the components needed to modify hardware for different types of control options and they embed also a stealing. Plenty of testing points are mounted on the PCB to make it easier to connect oscilloscope probes. Since it is a pure evaluation board, it cannot be considered as a reference uh, design for real application, as far as the layout and uh, BOM are concerned. And here the second kind of evaluation board comes in. We do have reference design with STSPIN32F0 that are meant to address specific applications or design solution. And here the target is to provide a reference also in terms of layout. In the last line of the table, you see the Eval Kit Robot 1 we already discussed. The second is electronic speed control reference design. As highlighted in the table, in the column Ecosystem, for STSPIN32F0 evaluation boards implementing FOC, we leverage on STM32 motor control software development kit. Let's spend a few words about STM32 toolchain, which is for sure one of the most powerful one available in the semiconductor industry. Motor Control Software Development Kit, in short MCSDK, is the one summarized here. It is made up uh, by the different tools. In the bottom left we see the Motor Profiler. This tool can be uh, paired to a set of Nucleo X Nucleo board and through them it is able to measure and report all the key parameters of the motor we have on our bench. Those data can be then copied in the second tool uh, you see on the top left side, the motor control workbench. This tool provides a nice and easy to use graphical user interface to help you finalize your motor project and set up all the parameters which are related to field oriented control. When the setup is complete, an IDE project uh, with the required source code can be generated. Projects can be generated for different IDEs such as STCube IDE, IR or Kyle. During this process, STM32Cube MX project files are also generated. When the whole setup is complete, it can be flashed into STSPIN32 using a steering and uh, in the end, you don't need to even see the source code. Everything can be done through the GUI. Of course, if you like to modify something specific, source code is fully accessible. So by this we come to the end of this session. I would like to thank you for your attention and for more information please visit our webpages st.com.